Okay, as always, we're going to start by getting rid of this stupid and annoying cat. There we go. So, we're going to make a sprite that will do something, essentially. So why not draw a circle? You know what? Perhaps it could be drunken. Perhaps it could be a drunken circle. I think we'll do just that. So yeah, we want to pause whatever it's going to do, whatever it may be. So I think we will get it to move. Fairly simple. Might get it to do some turning as well. We will get it to move 10 steps and turn 15 degrees. As you can see on the right there, it's doing just that. So yeah, we are going to make a pause button that will pause whatever it's doing when you click it. And when you click it again, it's going to resume. Just a simple button, not one of the ones we did in the last episode. They're nice and simple. Don't need to be too flashy. Okay. So, we are going to make a variable called play. And whenever play is set to zero, that'll mean the game is paused. Uh, so it isn't playing and when play is set to 1 I mean it is playing so yeah when we click it set play to 0 but when it is paused we want to have the button change so it says resume or play so that when you click it again it will stop pausing the game and remember always name your costumes really helps and an easy way of uh, detecting if you like which costume it's on so that when we click it again it'll change to the other one is just if costume number equals then whatever in this case it's one so that means uh, when you click it it'll switch to the next costume but depending on which costume it is it will either play or pause it so if it's on the resume uh, costume then when you click it it will set play to 1 then if it's on the pause costume it will set play to 0 just test that oops I got them wrong way around should be zero one, 1 not 1 0 Okay, so that's working now, but it's only changed the variable. We want the variable to actually stop what the circle is doing. However, when it's back to 1, we want it to resume whatever it was doing. And this can be achieved really simply. All we do is, around a process that is in a loop, we put an if statement, then simply just if play equals 1. So now, when it equals zero, it stops whatever it's doing. Hit play, it'll set play to one. 
the statement will evaluate to true and it will resume whatever it was doing. And it's not just movement we can pause. Any process you put within the if statement will be paused as well so we can get colour effect. We can pause that. Literally we can pause anything which is the real advantage of using this script. And as you can see it's a really small script as well. The simpler the better. So again, just another thing we can pause. Now there are some things that you can't pause however, and one of them is sound. Uh, in the current version of Scratch, uh, Scratch 1.4, you cannot pause sound at all, which is a real shame. However, in Scratch 2.0, which I'm really looking forward to, there's all sorts of things you can do, and that one of those things is actually pausing music. So I'm really, really looking forward to that, actually. But anyway, we're going to get rid of the drunken circle and create a new character. And this is going to be the Sunset Square. Personal favourite of mine. We'll give it some beautiful colours of the sun in the sky. So, we are going to get this Sunset Square to follow our mouse just to show one of the other things we can actually pause. Actually, we don't want go to. Uh, we'll just make it follow the cursor at a steady speed. So we hit play, and it will follow our cursor. We hit pause, and it will stop. Hit play, and it will resume its course. And then again, we hit pause, and you can see it works flawlessly. It's a really, really good script. I recommend you use it. Because really, every game should include a pause feature. And you might want to rename it to resume, if you don't like play. But I hope you've liked this video on a little tip about being able to pause your game. Make sure you like and subscribe, and stay tuned for another little tip of mine that you can use in your scratch games. See you later.